Hello class and welcome to our video on co-ownership. All right, so we're going to take a look at three different types of co-ownership here. The first one is called tenancy in common. Okay, now remember this is when we have at least two or more people coming together to collectively own land, real property. Okay, so each owner's share, the portion that they own, will go to that owner's heirs when they die. Okay, heirs would be the people that inherit that person's property. Okay, so in tenancy in common, when one of the heir, when one of the uh, owners dies, then the property won't go to the other owner. It will go to the original owner's heirs. Okay, one owner does not need the permission of the other owner to transfer their ownership to someone else. Now, what that means is. Each owner can do whatever they want with their ownership of the land that is co-owned. They can give it to somebody else without the other owner's permission. Okay, the example here, Joe and Steve, they're tenants in common with a piece of land. Okay, so if Joe dies, his daughter, his heir, will receive his share of the property. Okay, it doesn't go to Steve when Joe dies. Joe will pass it on to whoever his heirs are. Okay, in this example, I made it his daughter, but it could be his wife, it could be um, his son, it could be somebody else that he has in his will who will receive his property when he dies. All right. The other thing to consider here, if Joe wants to, he can transfer his right to the property to his daughter before he dies, okay? And he doesn't need, need Steve's permission in order to do that. Second type of co-ownership is joint tenancy. Okay, now here, each owner's share will go to the surviving co-owner or owners in the event that one owner dies. So that the ownership does not go to the heirs. Instead, the, the other partners, the other co-owners will receive the deceased person's ownership. Okay, so if it's two people that co-own property, if one of them dies, then the surviving co-owner will be the sole owner of the property. Okay. Even in joint tenancy, owners can still transfer their ownership interest, okay, without the permission of the other owner. All right, so you want to think long and hard before you enter into any sort of co-ownership agreement with joint tenancy. And why is that? You may go into it with another person thinking that when that person passes away, I'm going to get their share of the property, okay? But they may change their mind. They, may, they don't even let, need to let you know, okay? So if you think you're going to inherit that portion when they die, but the other owner, if they have different plans, they're going to go give it to somebody else. Well, then, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do legally. So you want to think long and hard before you get into any sort of joint tenancy agreement with somebody for co-owning real property. Now, the last um, co-ownership form that we're going to look at is tenancy by the entirety. And this happens between spouses in a marriage, okay? So this is real property held equally between spouses in a marriage. They have equal rights to the land and the home. Okay. In fact, each spouse actually owns the property in its entirety. So they both own it entirely at the same time. Okay. Neither can transfer ownership without the permission of the other spouse. Okay. They have to come to an agreement if there is going to be any changing of ownership with uh, tenancy by the entirety. Okay, and when one spouse dies, the other spouse becomes the sole owner. Okay, pretty straightforward there with tenancy by the entirety. Remember, marriage is a binding contract, okay? You share your property in marriage.